And welcome back, Bobcat Nation. SK is here with another episode of the Texas State Bobcats Dynasty. Today, we start looking at the top 25. This is actually the BCS top 25. There's not a playoff in this game as it's a few years ago. So you've got to be in the top two if you want to play for a title. Do I think Texas State is ready to go for a title? No. But we'll take what we can get. We go up to top 25 here. You can see Arizona, Alabama, Penn State, West Virginia. you got a few other teams. Air Force up there after their big win over the number 11 Army. We'll see how far Army fell down the list. UCLA, Florida, Clemson, Army falls out of the top 10 with that loss. Florida State in your top 10. Oklahoma, Louisville up there at 7-2 and two somehow. they got to buy this week. Michigan State, Texas A&M. We go to fifth. It's Notre Dame. Where is Texas State? We clock in at fourth at eight and one on the BCS poll behind our state flagship school, Texas, Miami, and then OSU. I don't see OSU and Miami losing, though OSU does play Michigan State this year, who is, or next week, excuse me, who is sixth in the country. So that is a chance to lose there. Um, it is very interesting how the polls have shook out. We are fourth also on the coaches poll, and the media has us as fourth as well. So um, very interesting how Texas State has flown up the uh, board uh, where we're at right now. We've got four games left in the season. Uh, three games, excuse me. We go to Colorado this week. They're not too good. Then the Utah team, which is struggling. And then that big one, Army, will rebound. We'll see where they're at. But lots on the line in the next few weeks. We'll just have to see what happens. The award semifinalists are up. There are a few Bobcats here and there across it. I'll go through these really quickly so you all can take a look. Obviously, at the Benaric Award, Randy Booth and TJ Manning are on there. Uh, some stout players ahead of them, but they are in the finalist. Darius Fields up there for the Nagurski Award. TJ Manning as well up there for that. Um, I believe we've got a couple of other players. Yeah, John McCoy up there for the Walker Award. Usually if they're closer to the top, they got a better chance. But some of these teams that are undefeated, I don't know if our players will be able to jump them. But it's always great to have players on that list, uh, especially when it's junior and senior level tier players. Uh, they put a lot into it. Darius Fields up there for the Lombardi. I really hope Darius Fields win that. He has been such a stud all four years of the series. Um, well, the four years that we played him, we, we were on year five. T.J. Manning up there for best linebacker. Again, there was a there was a time where you all wanted to start somebody else over him. Uh, what could have been, right? Randy Booth up there for the Thorpe. Moving through here. I think there's one other award that we've got some players that are up for. Chuck Denman and Brad Kennery up there for the best returners. I find that funny. Obviously, I would want I would prefer Kennery to win this. He's won it before, but Chuck Denman is a junior. You always want the seniors to get those. So that is your Bobcat players that are up there. We are not in a Heisman, but I want you to take a look down there what it says. McCoy is starting to raise some eyebrows. Um, and they are talking about our John McCoy. I'm wondering if maybe we gave him more touchdowns this season and we didn't, you know, he wasn't subbed out because of his, he just, he wears out quickly. Um, then maybe he could be up there, but he's not even in the top five, but they are starting to look at him. So I thought that was really cool. Obviously your OSU Miami Notre Dame players are up there. It's usually a quarterback's award. So we'll see what happens. Looking at the conference standings, we have jumped. USC in the Pac-12 South somehow. USC must have suffered a loss. We'll check out their team schedule and see what happens. They have lost two straight. They lost to that tough Arizona State team that we've struggled with, and they lost at Arizona. Arizona is now ranked. So the Pac-12 is wide open for us. If we look overall, we are number one in the entire Pac-12 with a 5-1 conference record. We've got to be careful, though. Again, we've got Utah coming up, and we've got Colorado this week. Colorado is in last place, but as you all know, we play down the teams. So we're going to really have to come out here and run the score up and dominate this game. As it says right here on the main screen, staying focused. Texas State players are not taking Pac-12 opponent Colorado lightly. 
I hope not. Looks like Kirk's going to rock out with us. We dominate everything, it looks like, besides rush offense. Um, yeah, so uh, this is, we are on the road, though, so anything can happen. Obviously, we uh, outmatched Colorado, 91-83, 97-79, so it doesn't look like they got a decent offense, but teams with no offense always seem to score against us. Uh, it is Heisman difficulty. You never know what's going to happen. All right. Oh, no. We are in Colorado. It is a cold rain coming down here. This could be interesting for our passing game. We may have to let McCoy dominate on the ground, but it is coming down in droves here. Look at the top of the Pac-12 South, Texas State, USC, UCLA. We're new to the conference, but we're putting down a new doormat. We're ready to make ourselves at home, and right now the conference is ours for the taking. We'll see what we can do here. But first, a seventh-ranked Colorado in the South. We'll see what we can do. They've got two wins to their name this season. Here come the Buffalo. Oh, my God. That Buffalo is going crazy. Look at those Cowboys running with him. They are. Oh, man. I'm, we may. This is, this, is, this is big. We, don't, we need, like, a bobcat to run out there on the field. It gets loose, starts eating fans, things like that. Ralphie. What? Is it Ralphie the Buffalo? Is that his name? What? I'm going to have to investigate this. Like, I've, it, I've never seen it just put up a name. When I see Ralphie, I think of a Christmas story. But here we are. Number four, Texas State taking on Colorado here at Folsom Field. It is cold out. It's late in the year. We'll see what's going to happen. All right, we won the toss, so we're going to give them the ball. We'll take it after halftime. Let's hope our defense can come out there. David Carter going to start the game off. I gotta love when I start a new game. This is so amazing. I this is. Oh come on! Oh, he's gonna slip through. He's still running. What a big run by Sean Baker, 41 yards. And again, another team comes out here pumped up and ready to go. They come out with empty backfield. They're gonna dump it over the middle. And once again, we're just not tackling, and that's 14 yards. And I know, I know, I'm just gonna get out this out here early in the comments. In the comments, you all have been defending the defense. The defense has done well, but I, I, I have to be mean to them. Oh, my God. What's going on? And finally, we're going to pull him down. 41 yards. Just a little dump pass over the middle. I don't. But as somebody who's playing the game, you've got to be tough on your defense. I know that they, they just give up, seems like, a lot. And here we are at second and goal already. See if we can hold them here. This empty backfield, though, they've they've they just smashed us here. That's going to make a third down. Kevin Church finally an incomplete pass. I knew he was going, and he kept it, and I had the play called, but we let him go in there. And Colorado will strike first. I feel like it's just on the Heisman difficulty that they're always going to score on their opening drive. It's just kind of a given. No matter what defense you go out there with, it's it's just uh, they're gonna they're gonna score. Oklahoma gets upset. Texas Tech picks them off. Oklahoma gonna drop out of the top ten. All right, so Colorado has come out here and smacked us at home. Chuck Didman gonna get this ball. See if he can get some uh, blocks. Looks like he got one, but not enough. We'll be starting back behind the 30, and Brian Jones and John McCoy will have the whole field to work with. Last week, it seemed like we couldn't get anything going. We'll see about this week. And there's Sean Burnett. He was relatively silent last week, but already starting off with a 14-yard reception first play of the game from scrimmage. in here handoff up the middle McCoy oh McCoy three yards and he paid the price the middle linebacker was waiting for him there we don't want him to take too many hits like that a little woozy I had to get him some smelling salts I got it seven here Jones gonna deliver hits Brown there Brown pushed out of bounds 16 yards and a first down good pass there by Brian Jones Brown with an amazing catch as always 
Nice little out route. Just cut it. Defense couldn't keep up with him. Spread them out of there a little bit. First down. Another run. And McCoy. McCoy drug down. He'll lose two on that. So Colorado did their homework. Ready for John McCoy here. Snipped out the draw play. Bring him down here. Oh, and, they're, oh, and Jones is going to keep it. Jones is running. Jones is going to get 11 yards. What a tricky little option play there. I don't know if that's the way it was supposed to happen, but Brian Jones keeps it. The third and one. And McCoy's going to push through, and he'll get the first down. So they move the chains again. Texas Jade, a big drive here. Their handoff, looking for a block. McCoy trucks somebody, and he's going to pick up seven yards on that. That's good for a gain of seven yards. Taking in three. Good and wide open. And oh, and Brown. Daryl Brown makes the catch, and the safety was waiting for him. The Colorado, they're throwing some meat around today. And off here, looking for some blocks. McCoy tries to find the outside, could not do it. So second and eight here. And a quick throw at Roberson. Five yards, and again, another big hit there. Brian Jones kind of leaving the wide receivers out here. He's leading them into damage, but they're holding on to the ball. Uh-oh. Open Roberson isn't hurt. Looks like he's stuck on somebody. Okay. Big Uglies come in here. Lots of Colorado Buffaloes there on the line. And McCoy's going to get pulled down, and he's not going to get it. What will Coach Conquest do here? Colorado's defense has done its job. So Carter's going to come out. He's going to kick the three points through, and they'll take the three here on the road. Ohio State staves off. Michigan State, they'll win 49-35, so Ohio State keeps the perfect season going. The Bobcats are lined up for the kickoff. Baker back to return. Carter launches this one. So Texas State trailing here with 221 to go in the first. Baker coming out here. Big hits there. He doesn't get a big return, 23 yards. We'll see if the Texas State defense is more prepared for the spread offense now. Oh, he just stiff arms Manning. He'll get seven yards on that play. Good Lord. Oh, and another big hit. We cannot tackle today. We cannot tackle. Hit him behind the line. He still gets eight yards in the first down. We're almost there. That's going to sell out of bounds. He had to throw that one quick. The defense was coming. Second down. Oh, and Booth's going to knock that one down. So third down here. to be a good stop for the Bobcats if they can hold. Audible's at the line. They're going to throw across the middle, and Fritz is going to tackle him short of the first down. But what will Colorado do here? One yard to go. Squad out there. Evans got through. Couldn't get there quick enough. Kennery going to let this one bounce. And it will be a touchback. Texas State's defense holds. We'll come out here on the field, see if they can take the lead. First down here. Here's a handoff. Block. McCoy. McCoy. Colorado State just swarming him today. Second. Almost picked off. It's going to be third down. There's one of those Brian Jones throws that we've been accustomed to see. It's an interesting play call. Let's see what it happens here. McCoy will lead the backfield. He's wide open. And they hit Thomas, and Thomas will shrug off one and take the big hit. I love that play. It just had so many options. Good block over there by the fullback, by the way, who let that play happen. Thomas did take another shot. Again, Colorado coming at us here. First and ten. 
Oh, and Rowe, come on, that's got to be pass interference. Hitting him right before he catches the ball. Second down here. Going for a screen. McCoy trying to get through. McCoy will get six. He just couldn't get around the blocker there. Bobby Norton, the center, just taking up too much room. Third and four. And that's a sack, and Texas State may have to punt this one away as the first quarter comes to an end here. Thomas just ran right past the dude. Should have thrown up a block instead of going for that. Play just took too long to develop. We will indeed come to the end of the first quarter. Texas State, the fourth-ranked team in the nation, down here to a subpar Colorado, 7-3 to three on the road. Red Pickens will come out here. We'll see what his punting looks like. Does have the wind at his back. Oh, that's a bad punt. They load up four to the left. This is a little Varsity Blues oop de oop maybe. That ball's going to sell out of bounds. He had a man over there, just couldn't hit him. Trying to push through. Fritz giving him way too much room. Fritz will lay the boom, but they're going to give him 11 yards in the first down. Look like he caught that well behind the line. Called a cover play. This could be bad. That's what I thought. There, McCoy picks up 15 yards. All right, we're just going to start sending guys. I don't think they can handle the blitz. And we'll let our, our corners and safeties do their job. Of course, as soon as I say that, they go right down the middle and they'll pick up 11 yards. It's like there's no rhyme or reason to defense in this game. I have a buddy. He's a, a real-life defensive coordinator for a college in the state. And he's like, you know, I'll call legit like plays and stuff that are made to counter this stuff, and it never works. Second and 10, they empty the backfield. How is he that? How is he that open? And they're going to score on us and go up 13 to 3. And today is not looking good. It makes no sense right now how they're just getting so open on everything. I know we didn't have a linebacker covering that guy. But yet, we had one out there when he was going across. I don't understand it. So you're hoping here in the rain that Texas State just didn't overlook this matchup, but right now it looks like that. Here's Brad Kennery. Gonna come out. Good blocks. Brad Kennery's got some opening. Kennery's got one gotta beat. Kennery gets pulled down 60 yards. Oh my God, it's like they trailed one guy back just for him. So great field position here for Texas State. They really need to score here. McCoy, McCoy runs over and he'll just run into other Buffaloes. Three yards on that one. Second down here. McCoy will leave the backfield open. And he's going to dump and there's McCoy. McCoy's going to pick up 17 yards. He was the last check down. And luckily Jones pays the price, but he'll dump it to him for a big gain. You definitely don't want to come out of this drive without points. Good blocking there, McCoy. McCoy will push through five more yards. Picking him five to go here. Hand off up the gut. Thomas. Thomas going to drop his head. And classic McCoy there going to get five yards or seven yards, excuse me, in the first down. First and goal. Go for a block. Thomas. Thomas still pushing. Thomas. Looks like he'll get it up close to the three-yard line. Looks like he ran into a big Cliff Hines there. A lot of the big uglies come out there. Second and goal here. And McCoy going to get cut. No blocking there on the right side. He gets pretty much decapitated on the play. The third down. They've got three guys. They are running a 3-3 something. They think we're going to run it. Shaw. 
And it's a handoff. We just need more blockers, but Quig, come on! Oh my lord. What do we do here? Fourth to go. Coach Conquest is going to try to go for it here. And we're not going to get it. Brian Jones couldn't push the line. They're going to take over. Oh, my Lord. This is bad. This is really bad. First and 10. Of course, we're not going to get them because we've not been able to stop them all day, which seems to be the first half. The first half Heisman is uh, you don't stop whatever they run. Oh, pick that up. Come on. A big stop here would be amazing. Third and five. He is, oh my God, how did he drop that? It must have been the rain. Lumpkin was beat. All right, we've got the pin deep here. Fourth and five. We'll have under three minutes. Henry gonna have amazing field position after this, hopefully. Oh, he's trying to turn the corner. He'll get 24 yards. Here we go. Good defensive hold, see? Compliments. First and 10. Nobody's there. Jones pushed out of the pocket. He'll lose three on the sack. Colorado's defense has showed up today. We, we just can't get anything open on these passing routes. It's like they've closed down everything. Taking it 13. Roberts are going to make that catch, but he was in traffic. No, he didn't catch it. This isn't good. Third and 13. Jones going to fly. Oh, come on. What a stupid move by the safety there. The fourth down. It's a bit too long for our kicker, so we're just going to try to go for it here. And that's incomplete. Oh, my God. We are just... We are not doing anything right today. First and 10. I feel like we got too many people on the field. Come on. There we go. Finally, we stop the running back. Colorado called a timeout. They're wanting to add more points before the half's over. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And 12 here. And we're going to get to the quarterback there. Look like TJ Manning sacks him for seven yards. That'll bring up third and long. Yeah, he definitely spun him down. They call a timeout there. We'll call a timeout. We can get the ball back. Maybe we can get something. I mean, I've let it should be 14 to 9 if I took my field goals. Oh, we got to him again. Oh, what a play. Call a timeout. We'll have a minute 30 something. That makes it fourth and long. Fourth and 17. Don't jump, guys. That's twice. Come on, Kennery. Oh, he couldn't hold on to it because of the rain. The game knew. Come on. Uh, this is going to be add a little element of difficulty. First and 10. Hit Kennery there. Kennery, the speed demon. He's cross midfield. Come on, a couple fast plays like that is exactly what we need. I want three at least. Seven would be amazing. We get the ball after half. And Roberson's going to make that catch. 42 yards. Holy crap. That makes it first and goal. We were waiting for him to show up. Looked like Jones just put it out there where only he could catch it. He just, yeah, it was right behind him. And somehow he gets tripped up. It's first and goal now. Oh, 
Hand off here, and McCoy is in the end zone, and Texas State is going to make the score look a little bit better with 54 seconds left in the half. Finally, we get some blocking on him. Somehow, after all the boneheaded calls, the extra points through, it's a four-point game. Bench feeling a little bit better here in the rain. Kick it off to the left here. If we can hold them for 54 seconds, I'll feel a lot better. We gave them a lot of time, though. They're going to kneel down. Three to the right, one to the left. We've got plenty of time. He totally faked out Fritz. And they're across midfield already. They'll call a timeout, and they've got one left. Two to each side now. Fritz was so lost on that play. Oh, we hit the quarterback. Hughes almost picked that up before it hit the ground. Second down. Two to the left. They got a running back in the back. Lots of people on the line here. And we're going to pull him down for the sack. Who was that on that play? I couldn't see. Randy Booth comes in. They're going to waste a lot of time here running everybody back to the line. You're way bundled up on that one side. Oh my God, Cameron was so there and he didn't even look up. Where's your awareness? Fourth down. I mean, I'm not saying it couldn't happen. Kennery is waiting for this one. He's gonna pay the price for it. 13 seconds, we've got one timeout. And McCoy, McCoy today is, uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be good or bad. Halftime, Texas State 10, Colorado 14. All right, we start the second quarter, or second half, excuse me. Brad Kennery going to have another chance to run one back here in the rain. Got some blocks. Oh, he needs to get around one day. Oh, number 26. You suck. All right, so we start the first play for scrimmage here in the third quarter. Offensively, we've just been... I don't know. It's been weird. Brown, good catch there. Daryl Brown's going to pick up a large chunk of yardage and get us near midfield or across it. Nice little uh, slant route there. He's definitely a crosser. Maybe right at midfield. I can't tell there from that angle. First and ten. There it is again. There's Brown. I called the hot play on that one. I just knew that he was going to be open for some reason. Put three to the left. Burnett out there by himself. There's a handoff up the middle. McCoy's going to shrug off one, step over another one, and pick up five yards there. We need to punch one in here and not look back. Second and five. McCoy runs into the back of his blocker. Come on, McCoy. Ridiculous. He had a hold to the left and a hold to the right, and he runs right into his ass. Third and five here. McCoy's going to leave the backfield open. Oh, and Kennery, what a catch. 19 yards in the first down. Brian Jones, what a throw there. Oh, my Lord. That one gets me excited. That was a big man catch right there. Oh, yeah. Look at him. He's, he knows it. First and 10. McCoy's going to take that on the draw. Ooh, he got hit and loses three yards again. They've been all over McCoy today. There has not been any running routes for him. It should be pretty much second and goal because look where the first down line is. It is a sweet play. Looking for blocks. McCoy gets it and he's going to cut in and get the 14-yard touchdown. What an amazing block there at the end of the play. Who was that? Kudos to him. We've got 62 and 63 out there. Ricky Jacobs and Joe Jones. Hella big plays from the guards. Carter will make it a three-point game here as Texas State takes the lead. The bench excited about that. Good kick. 
kick there. It's going to reach the end zone. Let's see what they do with it. Harold is going to bring this out. Oh, God. Harold's got all day. Finally to knock him out of bounds near the 40. First and 10 here. Didn't get some pressure on this quarterback again. They're going to run it here. Lumpkin is out there, and they're going to pull him down. He'll get three yards on the play. So second and seven. Another run play, but it is destroyed. Three-yard loss, and Lumpkin coming up again. Daryl Lumpkin really getting involved in the game today. Send two receivers to each side. We get to him. And Troy Cameron's going to pick the ball off in a rare interception for the Texas State Bobcats. The pressure was coming on the quarterback, and Troy Cameron jumps up for it there, and that's what we want to see from our lads. Troy Cameron out of Evalde, Texas, the senior. Nice job from him. Let's see if we can put some pressure on him now. McCoy, McCoy will push up the middle. McCoy will get three yards. Second and seven here. Hand off up the middle. Big push. McCoy, he'll get six. A yard short. Took a big hit there at the end. Thomas flew through there. Didn't lay any blocks out, so third and one. Run up the middle. McCoy's going to get the first down. Six yards. Texas State trying to wear down this defense. First and 10. And he's going to get sacked. No time for Brian Jones in the pocket there. Got to push him back. Second and 16. Oh, yeah. No block. Had to hold on to the ball. Take it in 16. They're going for the screen. McCoy is going to get pulled down in another loss. So third and very, very long here. Brian Jones going to have to work some magic. Colorado trying not to fall down too much. What will Conquest come up with here? Third and 18. Oh, what a play by the linebacker. We could have had a first down on that one. Good Lord. All right, we've opted to go for it here because it'll be pretty much the same as punting it. And there we go. That's what I thought. I feel they... Oh, my God. Maybe it's not the same as a punt. That was a totally boneheaded coach call there. And I will hear from it in chat. Brian Jones throws a nonchalant pass. And the return back... Oh, I'm just going to blow it all, aren't I? A great field position for the Buffalo here. They're going to go with the screen. Fields is over there. He'll get two yards on that. Nice tackle by the lineman. Come on, boys. Come on, we need a big stop here. He's going to run. Lumpkin is out there. Lumpkin's going to hit him hard. Just two more yards. So third and six. And he's just going to heave that one out of bounds. Broken play, and it's fourth down. Will Colorado try to tie it here? Field goal is good, and we've got a tie game here. 44 seconds left in the third quarter. It is tied up. Brad Kenry going to get this one in the end zone. And he's going to get hit back there. So only 19 yards. But Brian Jones and McCoy going to have a lot of field to work with. First and 10. And Roberson going to make an acrobatic catch 14 yards. And that's going to give us some breathing room there. 26 seconds left in the quarter. Little reverse. McCoy, six yards. And maybe the last play of the third quarter we'll have to see. So we go to the fourth quarter, and the number four team in the country is struggling here on the road. 
17 all here against Colorado. I don't know why we just lack initiative. Negative four here. And Jones is hit as he throws, and it falls incomplete. So third and four. This is a very important play here. And McCoy's going to get the first down and then some. What a second effort there to move the chains and keep the drive alive. Oh, Burnett, he'll dive for that one. I don't know if he needed to do that. I mean, six-yard catch. Boy goes in motion. I threw it right to the defender. Third and four. Need a hero here. He's wide open. Roberson. Oh, no, he fumbled the ball. No, and Henry's going to get it. Oh, no. Terrible news. Roberson wide open. Oh, I'd rather it be incomplete. Oh. So I couldn't challenge the fumble. I could, or I could challenge the fumble. I couldn't challenge the catch. So this is bad. There's no way. All right, defense, we need you to hold. I don't know if it's the rain. We always struggle in rain games, or if we just, our team just doesn't get motivated against this good tackle. Oh my God, there is so much on the line here, and this is awful. They are empty in the backfield here. No, out of bounds. Yes, 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 that foot was out of bounds. Fourth down. Oh, we dodged a bullet. That makes it fourth and twelve. Gonna punt Kennery on the return here. Kennery's not gonna get much, but we'll have the ball with 444 to go. The first and ten, 444 to go. I'm not even sure how to attack them. McCoy will get four yards there with the razzle dazzle. Second and six. There we go. Kennery. Kennery, nice move up the gut. First down across midfield. I'm legit sitting here nervous right now. Hand off. McCoy tries to go on the outside. No dice. He'll lose a yard. Walker's just not holding the day. Second and 11. Oh, God. Oh, it was flipped up. Almost intercepted, my Lord. This is super important right here. Third and 11. And they hit Kennery. Kennery's wide open. Kennery's going to go into the end zone for the touchdown. 41 yards. The play action, the whole secondary bit. And Brian Jones finds Brad Kennery over the middle. And just nobody was there. Look at that good block there by, what was that, Roberson? No, that's Daryl Brown with the block. And Brad Kennery puts him up. We're not out of the woods yet. 24-17. Colorado has plenty of time. Even Carter launches that one. There's no way he brings this out. Nope, he's scared. He's scared. Here we go. 253. I've got to trust. They got an empty backfield. I gotta trust in my secondary and hope my linebackers can come through. Four yard reception. Empty backfield again. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, Melton. You should have been there. 
First down. First down. They're really pushing it down the field here. Rock running, but they're not wasting a lot of time. Come on, boys. Come on. We need an interception or a stop or something. There we go. Oh, how did he get that off? And they're going to give him the first down. That is such bunk. Come on, defense. Oh, he dropped that one. Second and 10, 2.16 to go. Put some running backs back there. Let's see if they try to mix it up. They are going to try to run it. We'll get him. He'll get four yards, though. Fox should tick below two. They're wasting a lot of time here. They do get the first down. The Buffalo is very excited. You know, they may be ballsy enough to score and try to go for two to win this game. Oh, come on. Oh, I thought Melton could have had that one. Second and ten. Come on, boys. Empty backfield again. Get him. Yes. Oh, that should have been a fumble. Come on. Intentional grounding. Third and ten. This is important. I mean, they'll go for it on fourth. Empty backfield again. Fritz. Fritz. I'm so tired of your crap. My lord. Come why did man why did Manning turn the other way? Oh my god. What will they do? Oh, this is bad. Colorado marches down the field, no fear for some reason. And makes us look silly. The extra point is good. So tie game, a minute 33 left. Their fans feel it. All right, boys and girls. This could be for all the marbles. Kennery going to return this one. Wait, what? what kind of magic... Bull crap was that. Kennery faked that dude out and then he glued back to him. Could be a lot of pressure for a freshman kicker. Almost throwing an interception. Come on, Jones. We need you to really. We've got plenty of time. Don't rush it. Second and 10. And that's a big run. That makes it third and two. We've got all three timeouts. Good first down. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it first and ten. Good throw over the middle. Burnett, that's another first down. John Burnett has set a new career. Wow, from 1969 to 71. School receiving yards. Congratulations. Let's get a win to uh, emphasize that. Over the middle, there's Denman. We'll call a timeout here just to give him a rest. We're almost in field goal range. Gonna do a run play. McCoy. McCoy, big run there. 12 yards, first down. Get everybody up here. 24 seconds left. And there's Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. Oh my god, he's right in midfield. What a throw, what a catch. McCoy is straight ahead. We'll call timeout with three seconds left. That should be game. Yeah, they'll probably freeze him. 
or not. Or we're just gonna kick it easily. And that's gonna be your game. Texas State is gonna survive. The freshman kicker, Fred Pickett, excuse me, David Carter from Parker, Colorado, another game winner. And we will hold on somehow. That's the end of the game. The final score is A Colorado team who is out to prove everything. I think they did. John McCoy is your player of the game. Two touchdowns, 101 yards. I didn't know if he was going to get there. Colorado, he just kept packing and packing and finally just got through when he needed to. Final score here in Colorado. Texas State survives 27 to 24. Ralphie the Buffalo may be sad, but the Colorado fans had a good game to watch today. We'll see what the committee does with that ranking. I feel like we could drop after that uh, lackluster performance against a two-win team. But somehow, once again, conquest crazies find a way to hold on and win. All right, let's check out the game stats just to see what's going on with our players and how they reacted today. Brian Jones, not a bad day. He did have that one interception late. Uh, that was mostly user error as always. 21 for 32 today, 333 yards. One touchdown, 65%. He was sacked three times. Colorado did get a lot of pressure to him. Rushing John McCoy, 28 attempts for 101 yards. We did put the ball in his hands a lot today. He had two touchdowns, uh, but he got us set up for that field goal at the end. The senior showing, uh, he may not be Tom Sutton, but he is John McCoy. Brad Kennery, look at these catches from our uh, wide receivers. Four receptions for 91 yards and a touchdown. Roberson had four for 81. Daryl Brown, four for 58. Sean Burnett, three for 31. But it seems like he was always catching them on the most important. He did have that one fumble, though, that did uh, put a scare in us. John McCoy, three catches, 21 yards. Walker, Denman, and Thomas all getting a catch for around 15, 18 yards. Daryl Lumpkin, look at this. The freshman, the redshirt freshman, Showing a promising future. Two tackles for a loss. Eight solo tackles in this game. He really got up there and played. Uh, he plays a big part in that 4-2, uh, or 4-2-5, excuse me. And uh, it showed today how valuable he can be. I don't even want to look at Brandon Fritz. Brandon Fritz just annoys me. I know he had four solo tackles, but he just, he gets so lost sometimes on the play. Randy Booth, a relatively quiet day. Three tackles, one for a loss. TJ Manning as well, one for a loss. I do believe we had two sacks, Randy Booth and TJ Manning. David Carter, probably one of the minor heroes today, made two field goals. The one was the game winner, three extra points. When it comes to returns, Brad Kennery, four returns for 134 yards. He was one tackle, or actually there was two of them. He was one tackle, a break tackle away from uh, getting touchdowns. Did not happen, though. Looking across the country, Army taking another loss. They're definitely going to fall out of the top uh, probably 15. Not sure how low they'll go, but that's got to be rough. Rolling on. The winning streak continues for Texas State at the expense of rival Colorado. I didn't know that uh, Texas State was, or Colorado was one of our rivals, but I guess we'll take it. That improves us to 9-1 and one on the season. Let's see what the AD has to say. Whether by ground or air, all that matters is scoring more than the other team. Yeah, our target wins was eight. We now have nine. So, yeah, I would say we're uh, pretty secure at our job. Just thinking about that. Um, interesting. We're even the ESPN uh, top story. I don't think all the scores have happened. I'd like to see what happens to those top teams in the country, but we may not be able to see them before we end this episode now. It shows you scores, but then... You know, none of these are ever filled in. So it is what it is. All right, Gamer Nation, I'm going to leave you there on a cliffhanger. We'll see what happens to our ranking. We'll see who we have next week. I do believe we have Utah. But uh, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Leave some comments below. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching. God bless. I will see you all next time. Good night, Nation.